Jewish rabbis accepting Jesus as Messiah include Rabbi Isaac Liechtenstein, Rabbi Daniel Zion, Rabbi Marcus Och, Rabbi Leopold Cohn, Rabbi Harold Valence, Rabbi Sam Stern, Rabbi Isaac Liechtenstein, who is also known as Ignaz Liechtenstein. Rabbi Isaac Liechtenstein was the chief rabbi of the Northern District of Hungary. He studied the Talmud. He had hostility toward the Christians. After carefully examining the Messianic prophecies and the New Testament, he came to the conclusion that Jesus is the Messiah. Rabbi Isaac said the following quote, Jesus is the predicted Messiah of Israel. Rabbi Isaac also said the following quote, Our present is dark. We are hastened, full of hope, to a glorious future. For you have sent your heralds in the name of your beloved son, Yeshua the Messiah. After Rabbi Isaac accepted Jesus as the Messiah, he was persecuted by the surrounding Jewish community. He was verbally attacked and physically attacked and economically attacked. He became ostracized. Despite the persecution, he refused to deny Jesus. Rabbi Daniel Zion. Rabbi Daniel Zion was the chief rabbi of Jaffa in Israel. He was the director at a rabbinical school. He was a judge in the rabbinic court of Jerusalem. After carefully examining the Messianic prophecies and the New Testament, he came to the conclusion that Jesus is the Messiah. Rabbi Daniel Zion said the following, Jesus is indeed the true Messiah who suffered for us and sacrificed himself for our sins. After accepting Jesus as the Messiah, he was persecuted, ostracized, and all of his titles were removed by the Jewish community. Despite the persecution, he refused to deny Jesus. Rabbi Marcus Och Rabbi Marcus Och was an ordained rabbi. He was also the son of a rabbi. He was zealous for rabbinic Judaism. After carefully examining the Messianic prophecies and the New Testament, Rabbi Marcus Och came to the conclusion that Jesus is the Messiah. Rabbi Marcus said the following, Jesus is the source of salvation and of eternal life to all who, by the efficacy of his blood, are cleansed from the guilt and pollution of sin and through him can call God. Rabbi Leopold Cohn. Rabbi Leopold was an ordained rabbi. He attended a Talmudic school. He was familiar with rabbinic texts. After carefully examining the Messianic prophecies and the New Testament, he came to the conclusion that Jesus is the Messiah. Rabbi Leopold said the following, My Lord, my Messiah, Yeshua, thou art the one in whom Israel is to be glorified, and thou art surely the one who hast reconciled thy people unto God. Rabbi Harold Valence. Rabbi Harold Valence was an ordained rabbi. He attended a rabbinic school. He was friends with several rabbinic scholars. After carefully examining the messianic prophecies in the Hebrew Bible, he came to the conclusion that Jesus is the Messiah. Rabbi Harold Valence said the following, It is so plain and stark how Jesus was being prophesied. Rabbi Harold Valence also said the following, Jesus, you are my Messiah, my Lord, my Savior. Rabbi Sam Stern. Rabbi Sam Stern was ordained as a rabbi in Poland. Rabbi Stern was also the son of a rabbi. He was a Talmudic teacher in the synagogue. After carefully investigating the Messianic prophecies in the New Testament, he came to the conclusion that Jesus is the Messiah. Rabbi Sam Stern said the following, I accepted Jesus as my personal savior. Jews accepting Jesus throughout history, one from each century. First century, Saul of Tarsus, who was known as the Apostle Paul, he was a Pharisee. After he accepted Jesus as the Messiah, he was persecuted and tortured and left to die by the Jewish authorities. The only reason he was persecuted was because he accepted Jesus as Messiah. Second century, Matthias of Jerusalem was Jewish by ethnicity and he accepted Jesus as the Messiah. Third century, Joseph of Tiberias, who is also known as Count Joseph. He was a member of the Sanhedrin, the Jewish court. When he was seen reading the New Testament, he was dragged away by the Jewish authorities and severely tortured, and then thrown in a river with the intent of drowning him. Against all odds, he survived. Fourth century, Abiathar, who was a Jewish priest in Georgia, he accepted Jesus as the Messiah. Fifth century, Epiphanius of Constantia, who is also known as Epiphanius of Salamis. Sixth century, 
Romanos, the Melodist, who wrote hymns in honor of Jesus. Sixth century, Julian of Toledo. Eighth century, the parent of Paulus, Alvarez, who had Jewish ancestry. Ninth century, Constantine the Jew, who was familiar with Hebrew and the Hebrew Bible. Tenth century, Hafs in Albar, who had Jewish ancestry. Eleventh century, Leo de Benedicto Cristiano. Twelfth century, Angelus of Jerusalem. Thirteenth century, Gregory bar Hebraeus, who is also known as Gregory Albul Faraj. Fourteenth century, Rabbi Solomon Halivai, who is also known as Paul of Burgos, accepted Jesus as the Messiah after examining the Messianic prophecies. Fifteenth century, Alfonso de Cartanega. Sixteenth century, Rabbi Joseph Tsarpathi Ha Alfasi, who is also known as Andrea de Monte, accepted Jesus as the Messiah. 17th century, Rabbi Malachi ben Samuel, who is also known as Paul Christian. 18th century, Rabbi Paul Drach. 19th century, Rabbi Daniel Landsman. After he accepted Jesus as the Messiah, the Jewish community persecuted him severely. He was assaulted and spikes were pierced through his hands. His entire family deserted him. The only reason he was persecuted was because he accepted Jesus as the Messiah. 20th century, Rabbi Chacham Ephraim ben Yosef Eliakim was buried together beside an Arabic Christian. The Jew and Arab were united through Christ. 21st century, Rabbi Motel Balistan, who was a rabbi from New York. 21st century Jews who accepted Jesus as the Messiah also include Rabbi Kurt Schneider, Rabbi Aaron Alsbrook, Rabbi Jason Sobo, Miriam Leah, who was raised by an ultra-Orthodox Hasidic Jew, Niki Naparst, and Shiri Joshua, who saw Jesus with her own two eyes. There are roughly 1.2 million Jews who accept Jesus as the Messiah in the United States as of 2013. David Brickner is a fifth-generation Jew that accepts Jesus as the Messiah. Top 15 Messianic Prophecies one Messianic prophecy is Psalm 16, verses 8 through 11, where the Messiah will rise from the dead, which is fulfilled in Acts 13, verses 35 through 37. Another Messianic prophecy is in 2 Samuel, chapter 7, verses 12 through 16, where the Messiah would be a descendant of David, which Jesus fulfilled in Hebrews 1, verse 5. King David's future resurrection was only possible because of the resurrection of his descendant, the Messiah. Jesus is a descendant of King David. Another messianic prophecy is in Jeremiah 31, verse 31, where the Messiah would bring in a new covenant, which Jesus fulfilled in Matthew chapter 26, verse 28. Another messianic prophecy is in Zechariah 9, verse 9, where the Messiah would come riding on a donkey, which Jesus fulfilled in Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 through 7. Another messianic prophecy is in Hosea 11, verse 1, where the Messiah would be called out of Egypt, which Jesus fulfilled in Matthew chapter 2, verses 13 through 15. Another messianic prophecy is in Zechariah 11, verses 12 through 13, where the Messiah would be betrayed for 30 pieces of silver, which was fulfilled in Matthew 26, verses 14 and 15. Another messianic prophecy is in Daniel chapter 7, verses 13 and 14, where the Messiah would be called the Son of Man, which was fulfilled in Matthew chapter 9, verse 6. Another messianic prophecy is in Psalms chapter 2, verses 1 through 12, where the Messiah would be called the Son of God, which was fulfilled in Mark chapter 1, verse 11. Another messianic prophecy is in Exodus 12, 1 through 51, where the Messiah would be a willing sacrifice, the Passover lamb, which was fulfilled in John 1, 29. Another messianic prophecy is in Micah 5, chapter 2, where the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem, which was fulfilled in Matthew 2, verses 1 through 6. Another messianic prophecy is in Isaiah, chapter 7, verse 14, where the Messiah would be born of a virgin, which was fulfilled in Luke, chapter 1, verses 31 through 35. Another messianic prophecy is in Daniel, chapter 9, verses 24 through 27, where the Messiah would come at a particular time, which was fulfilled in Matthew 24, verses 15 through 16. Another messianic prophecy is in Isaiah, chapter 52, verses 13 through chapter 53, 
verse 12, where the Messiah would be suffering servant, who would be pierced for our transgressions, which was fulfilled in Matthew chapter 8, verses 16 and 17. Another messianic prophecy is in Isaiah 11, verse 1, where the Messiah would be a Nazarene, which was fulfilled in Matthew chapter 2, verse 23. Another messianic prophecy is in Isaiah chapter 42, verses 1 through 7, where the Messiah would be a light for the nations of the world, which was fulfilled in Matthew 12, verses 15 through 21. Jesus is the only Messiah figure in history who is accepted by virtually all ethnicities on earth. Yeshua HaMashiach Yeshua the Messiah Jesus the Messiah Jesus Christ For more information, go to the website for Association of Hebrew Catholics and the website Jews for Jesus.